G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Joe Wordle, and welcome back to 7 Days, and welcome back to the No Repair Challenge. The sun is up, which is always a good start to a day, but I'm hanging out in my brand new house that I've only just put the last couple of splinters onto. The Mike Wazowski eye, that is gone, it's now a proper circle, which is so much better, but I'm loving it here so much, it's sad to say that I have to leave it. I've got things to do today. Oh, and it's already kicking off. Oh, it's a whole like... Uh, yeah, all right, hang on a second. I'm going to meet you guys down below, try and save whatever ammo I can, because that is what I realized last night. That is what's going to be my biggest issue. I, oh my goodness gracious, a few of yous. Though I have a horde coming up in not a lot of time, and I don't have an especially large amount of ammo to try and fight them with. So, I think for today, and for as long as I can possibly manage, I'm going to have to go fisty cups with as many zombies as I can, as I can put down, because I need to save every last bullet I can. Look at that. For another night. Another night a little bit later on. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was actually very easy. Well, yeah, that's kind of, uh, well, that's what I was alluding to before I got rudely interrupted. Today, I have to go and I have to try and make sure I get my ammo production in tip-top shape. You're still growing, so I can't make myself a bed yet. That's all fine. But if I have a squiz in you... Look, I've got what? I've got 300, 600. I've got less than a thousand rounds, or probably just about a thousand rounds of cool what's on me now, of 762. And given what happened in the last Horde night, <laughs> given all the bad things that happened last Horde night, that I don't think will get me through the night. That's going to have to be the most pressing thing. You, can I have a quick look at you, please? I will need a new pickaxe. Steel pickaxe, it's here for. I need. Just duct tapes. Okay, that's all fine. Because if I get some nitrate today, and we go to the pine forest and get some coal today, get my gunpowder production going, that'll probably serve me pretty well. I'm all flustered. I'm all flustered already. I barely even started the day, and I'm already all over the bleeding shop. While I'm waiting for the duct tape to craft, and then the pickaxe to craft, I do need to go look at all the juicy things I can sell. Do need to go and see Jen. In fact, I'll take all of you with me. I'm a little bit chockers, but that's all right. I can leave... I just need one of the cheesecakes, actually. So grab you, leave the rest. I only need one sugar butts. Do I have any awesome sauce in there at all? I... Oh, I've got a magnum. I have to remember to that. Uh, I don't have any awesome sauce. Okay, we're gonna have to, need, have to grab one of those before I go. Plenty more waters in you. Awesome sauce needs. I think you only. Do you try to need fuel? Is that all you're missing? Just some fuel? I can sort out that for you. Grab that one and chuck it in. So I was so excited to find a super corn. Yeah, nah, nice. Look at that. Heaps of super corn. I've got everything I need to make myself the pickaxe, except for another couple of pieces of wood. I spent all of my wood making my... Look at that. Making my giant monstrosity on top of the church. So I'll go and cut down a couple of trees. Need to find myself those pine seeds as well at some point, but it's going to have to wait till later. I think that's about all that I needed. Short, sharp, sweet, and right to the point. There you go. Steel pickaxe. A tier four. Tier two is almost gone, so that's a... I don't know why I favoured it. Sorry about that. Undo you. You're cooking away. But while I'm here as well, the tacky boy. I can also make a tier four. And I have everything I need to make you immediately. Tier five AK is almost gone. Do I have a spare AK? Oh, no. Uh, sorry. A spare tacky boy somewhere? None in you. Check the horde box. I've got a... Only a tier two. Yeah, go on then. Go on then. Half the reason you were so excited to find your freaking crucible was to make the steel to make your weapons. So that's a bit of a no-brainer. You can hold on to those ones for me. Thank you very much. That's all ready to go with me. How's my awesome sauce cooking? Two minutes to go. I'm too impatient for that. Hurry up. Last 10 seconds on you. Then we're good to go. I think I've got everything that I need. There's only four things to give me the, uh, the boost, isn't it? It's the magnum, the... <laughs> You are shitting me. You are shitting me. Half a second to go and you conk out of stamina. Who the fuck are you? Me? Here, one little bit of a splinter to get you finished off. But yeah, there's the magnum, there's the cheesecake, there's the sugar butts, and the awesome sauce. That ought to do it. All right, Jenny girl, ready or not, I hear you've got some new gubbins for me today, so I'm very much excited to come and have a gander to at you. Uh, and there's also the drop up to the north and all the other vending machines, get some more sugar butts as well. Lots to do. Lots to do today. I don't have time to waste. And I wasted so much of it waiting for my awesome sauce. Let's make this short, sharp, and sweet, Jenny girl. It is your specialty. Still no sugar butts in you, but I'm here for it. If you're uh, feeling under the weather, I've got just what the doctor ordered. I bet you do. They're all in the cabinet back there, but you refuse to chop out. 
Okay, so I'm selling stuff first, so I don't need to go the cheesecake right away. You last the longest. I'll have to think out loud when I'm doing this. I always forget. You last longest, so you in first. Then the awesome sauce. Sell everything. Then the cheesecake before I buy. Right, you in nice and quickly. Please make me a Here's whole lot of money. Well oh, I forgot about this bit, though. Tier 5 Knuckles. Uh, I'm going to gamble on the books uh, again. Oh my goodness, SMG, steel armor, military armor. I don't have time for this gen. I'll come back to you. I'll come back to you. Hold that thought. I'll be right with you. Gonna sell you and you and you and everything. I sold all that I could. I made an easy 20 grand and got, ooh, a, a level up as well. Not too bad. But I can't sell these football helmets to us. So I'm gonna have to wait on those. What have you got that I can buy off you? Still a surprising lack of magazines, no vehicle magazines in there at all. Anything at all. A, a little bit of gunpowder, not really much though. Some petrol, vitamins. I mean, I love you, Jen. I love you so much, but I feel like every time I come to you, you really kind of let me down. I could get the tier five knuckles I didn't take off for a second ago for three grand. For cheaper even, when I've got the cheesecake, I might buy one of those just cause. Tacky boy, tier three, way too expensive. Solar bank, not the solar panels. Uh, and really, like, not much. Not really much at all. Do you have any cotton? No. Do you have any pine? No. You. Oh, all right. Well, was a good deal. I'll still whack in the cheesecake right. anyway because it's basically a freebie and buy what I need off you. Yeah. Not right now. I'll go and just take everything. Furious Fist book? Sure. Anything that might help me later, I'll take with me. Yeah, look, I wasn't sure about it, but I think it's the right move. I've got enough money on me now to buy it anyway, so I'm going to grab an extra set of knucks for future me, looking out for my own future self. That's what you got to do. And I'll also grab, for less than 10 grand, the tier 5 compi crossbow. It's always hard to buy weaponry because I know I can never repair them once they're gone. They're gone forever. But a, a big jump like that to a tier 5 compi just seems like a good idea. It may I'm not actually business. be, but I'll try it anyway. You Trade a gen. All right, so. Adventurer. Good job. My bike is almost dead. I mean, almost dead. It's got 3% health. It's held together with dental floss at the moment. SMG 5 parts. I can actually make that already. I just don't have the points in that tier at the moment. Still armor, no military armor. Do I back myself to not bin my bike for at least five seconds and take the military armor? Or do I assume I am going to break, break my transportation and need the 4 by 4 but I'm pushing for the gyro? I'm going to take the military armor. I can, only make, I can only make a tier 2 military helmet at the moment, so I want something better. So I'll take you, and we'll see what you got for me. Open you for... Assault rifle crafting, more wiring books, and I got more fist books out of that. Actually, there's a whole lot of fisty books. Now you, steel knuckles quality three. I reckon that was the right call. I reckon it was indeed the right call. Moving up into military land. Oh yeah, I can definitely do that. Although, having read those books just then, I can now. Oh, I don't. I don't have all the benefits going in anymore either. Um. I can now make my own military stuff at that level. That's right. They're basically free. That's fine. I'm doing all the swap overs while I'm still in the safety of Jen's compound. In all of you go. That red laser sight. Now my new favorite thing. I can chuck you down to you. And look how much better you look. With the purple dye as well. Dying the draw, the, the bowstring actually purple looks sick. And I love it so much. Yeah, nah, lovely. Yeah, nah, I think that was the right move. Bonk you. Ah, someone else is groaning at me as well. That's all fine. I don't have long. I've got to get going. I'm going to get to the other side of town and get the derpo. But that was a successful little trip to Jen's. I also bought a couple of spotlights. I did see people saying in the last horde night that it was just way too dark and hard to see what was going on. So I bought some spotlights. So hopefully in a couple of days when I fight the horde again, you'll be able to see. I'm heading up to where the drop came down. And I'm just stopping into all my normal local horns to check all of the vending machines. You can just wait right there, please. Thank you very much. In we go. And you, still none. There's like a national shortage of sugar butts around here. Everyone's got the worst smelling breath in the world because mints apparently just don't exist. Going all the way up there. There's another one right next to the drop, actually. How are they so hard to find? I feel like when I have a couple of them, they're super bountiful to the point where I stop buying them. I need to always buy them because eventually they run dry and I'm really lost without them. I'll grab the drop in a moment. Just going to check the vending machine across the street so I don't forget. You've got... 
Still none, but I do need rock busters actually to go and mine all of the coal and the nitrate that I need to make myself the ammo. So that's not a bad idea. Quickly grab you. Supply crate pop, propped up in the air like that for some bloody reason. Another book crate. More assault rifles, more fists, and more repair tools. I, I need to... Oh, I should have done that. As the last of my cheesecake benefit ticks away, I should have bought... Another forgetting elixir just to unspec out of all the extra things that aren't doing anything for me. I should have. I should have. It's too late now, though. It's all of the benefits have already well gone away. Dang, Josh. Dang, you should have thought ahead at least for once. I suppose my only hope uh, is to potentially pass Josh had some sort of wisdom. It'd be very rare if he did, but potentially had a spare forgetting elixir back at home. I think I bought an extra one. At some point, I might have drunk it for some other reason once upon a time. I'm not sure, but hopefully there is a spare one waiting for me. Because if I have that, I can just get rid of all of like the points of the lock picking, anything that's not pushing me in the direction that I want to go. Mm, I don't, I don't think I do. I don't think I do. But look at that though. Look at that though. I'm so happy with that. My new pickaxe is done, and so is my new tacky boy. So I'll take all of you. I'm gonna leave the tacky in there though. That is for horde knights. I've got a good amount of 9mm ammo. I could respec back into pistols and roll with an SMG. In fact, how am I looking on that front? SMG 5. Can I make it tier 4? I thought I could make it tier 5 one of you already, but even so... 12 duct tapes, tier 4 SMG. If I do... If I didn't check that, actually. If I can respec back into... <gasps> I like machine guns so much, though. But an SMG is basically a machine gun. How's that going to leave you with ammo, though? Do I have more 9 mil than I do 7.62? It's actually, I do, because the stacks are double big. Double big? That's definitely not what I wanted to say. But there's more ammo in a stack of 9 mil than there is in 7.62 anyway. I reckon, I reckon I do. I reckon I do gotta do that. Um, although, before I respec, I'm going to leave you in there. I've got two skill points to spend, and I have to go mining. I've got no points in strength. What do you need? You need strength level 2. I put another point in the 69 arm. That'll make mining even better. Or I go mother load. I'm nowhere near a fresh skill point either. Okay, I'm going to go mother load in you. The other skill point is with too much. I'll respect when I get back home. I will bring coffee. I will bring rock busters. I'll also bring some yucca stuff as well. Keep the hydration up. And sure, you too as well. Okay. Okay. I need nitrate. I need coal. Have I gone mining for that yet before? I think I did all the way down here somewhere. Why didn't I mark it on the map? Josh, that's rookie hour. You're supposed to mark that shit. All right, well, I can't see any coal nodes down there at all, but I'll head down there anyway. But my bike is mostly knackered, so I'll take, just in case, I'll take my bicycle with me just in case I do clip a rock and break my front wheel. Okay, okay. <laughs> We're off to the races again. I'll have to go spend a lot of time down to the deep dark hole. You can take that and the rest of you can all hang out in them. I was going to swap over the mods on my new pickaxe. We're ready to rock and roll. I tell you, I hate driving out here so, so bleed much. It's so freaking sketchy and any wrong move could spell disaster. I still can't believe there's no roads. There's no road between any of the towns. How has that happened? What kind of like intra-town rivalry do you have to have to never build a highway between the places? Bloody silly. Uh oh, 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 oh. Bloody selfish. I cleared that log if I hit it was all over. See, that's what I mean. That's where you pin the throttle. Full speed is best speed. Okay, I've made it to the green stuff. Let me just quickly jump off you and have a bit of a scout around. So there's nitrate around the place. I could gamble that there's going to be... That's not a bad idea. I could gamble that there's going to be some coal adjacent to it, which sometimes and kind of often there is. But I need nitrate anyway. It just means I might lose a lot of time on my Rockbusters candy while I'm trying to find the next note. But either way, boop you. There's the pine seeds that I need. I might even grab a couple of extras while I'm here as well, because why bloody not? All right, one thing on the to-do list has been ticked. We're good. Can you guys just appreciate with me the swagger on the deer's trot? Just like, just bopping about, having the greatest day, shaking the shoulders all over the shop, like not a care in the world. I'll, in my next life, I want to live like a deer. Look at you. I want to live like a deer. 
in the Seven Days world. Look at the fucking bop he's got going on. He's got music in his head. He's a happy little deer. Oh, she's a happy little deer. That's a strut. That's a strut and a half. And because you're so dapper, I'm going to let you live. And instead, keep on cutting down trees. I'm going to ruin your environment instead. I need to not worry too much about min-maxing this and just get it done. I'm going to whack in a meat stew anyway. Keep my food levels up and chuck in you immediately. Don't have the buzz from coffee perks, so that's okay. Do have... I did definitely put the right thing in, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, definitely put the rock buzz in. So we're fine. Get all that extra nitrate. That's grass, dickhead. All the extra coal that's hopefully down there. Get cutting. Get cutting. Get mining and get production up and going. The horde's not going to wait for me. I'm definitely big time hoping that at some point I'll stumble across a real dark streak down here and get myself some coal as well. I thought I heard the gurgle of a zombie upstairs. I might get out from underneath the big long drop so nothing decaying and decrepit lands directly on me, schnoz. That would smell completely awful like bloody Ace Ventura inside a rhino. Grab all that nitrate though. Already got like 2,000 of it. Jeezy, gather it quick. Okay, so I guess I'll just like kind of get nitrate by accident. I've got to try and find that coal. I need it. I found something different, but it's not exactly what I had in mind. That's lead. And I actually have a good amount of lead back home, but we have a different ore change. Got plenty of nitrate. Where, that's how much nitrate do I have? I've got almost like three and a half thousand of it. So more lead that way. Just keep on tunneling through all of the gravel. Anything, anything else? Oh. Oh, no, this is regular rock. Shit, shit. If I can't find any coal, I'm kind of fucked anyway. I'm in the last few seconds of my rock buster's candy. So even if I, I guess if I find one now, that's great. But if that runs out and I haven't found it yet, I'm going to get out of the hole, drive around trying to find a brand new coal vein. Just nothing. Just nothing. I gambled on it. My gambles haven't worked at all lately, have they? I keep taking book bundles and get nothing what I need. I keep my like, banking and going to find what I'm after in a hole somewhere and still not finding what I need. Nope, it's over. That's it. The rock buses is gone. So how much did I get in the end? I got like... I'll, I'll finish it off. I'll get like the 6,000 nitrate. So we're nice and round. Also got an extra diamond. Coming handy for Jen, but don't think she wants it from me anymore. Grab you, and we'll get out of here. Yeah, now we're good. We're good. We're fine. So I've got you marked on the map. Uh, oh, there's a coal node. It's a little bit away, but it's the only one that's on the map at the moment. That's the closest one. Actually, in fact, that's one there might be the closer one. That's definitely a coal node. Yeah, all right. I'll go and grab that. Jump back on your bike, and away we go. That's okay. Sometimes you've got to spend a whole day just gathering resources. You can't just go looting every day, all day, as much as I might like to. Occasionally, you've got to do your chores, got to wash the car, empty the dishwasher, and get all your bullets made. I suppose the other good thing about this is I'm getting shitloads of pebbles. So when I go back home, my concrete production could be up and about. Because I do have quite a lot. I've got quite a lot of refurbs and redevelopments to do. The last horde just ransacked it. And everything went wrong that could have gone wrong. The demo showed up. I tickled dipples in the wrong way. I lost power lines and I lost infrastructure. So I've got to rebuild all that. I think underground power lines is probably the way to go. But even so, my concrete needs are so bleeding high. Anytime we're getting pebbles, it's a good day. I'm only going to go until I've got about 6,000 coal. Just to match how much nitrate I have. It's always nice to have those in pairs. I would have loved if... Uh, if, if what's the... What's the thing? Is it still... Yeah, the stacker gunpowder. That would be the bloody tits. I'm only 18 books away from that one as well. I really wish that, like, when you finished off a, a, a class, you just didn't find those books anymore. You didn't have to respec out of it. Like, finding books the, of a series have already finished just kind of hurts that little bit. Like, things like that, like explosives, I'd love just to find as a kind of, like, a passive thing. Yes, I'm being greedy and selfish wanting everything, but even so, like, third... Oh, God. That's a bit further down than I wanted it to go. Even so, like 30 books isn't all that much. Would have thought I would have found it by now in 40 days of pretty hardcore looting. But can't win them all, I suppose, or in my case, any. We're almost done. Almost got the 6,000, so probably time to go. I reckon there's going to be like a min and a max. Like a real, like really fine-tuned way of where to spend skill points, where and when to respec. What, like what level of books need to get to before... Oh, shit. Before you respec out of it into something different, can I go... 
like that. Use my silence. Oh my god, there's more of them. Uh, right, okay, there's much more of them than I thought there was going to be. Hold on. Hold on. One there. I dug a nice deep hole for you. Ah! We're, right. We're okay. We're okay. Only panic fired quite a bit. Can I get the rest of you guys over here, please, so I can get back home? That was some juicy cell shots right in the chin. You should be down, but you're not. Come on. Easy. No, more easy. We're fine. We're fine. We're good. See, this is why I like the AK so much. The machine guns are so bloody good for everything. That's why I wanted to use them. It's just a shame the knuckles suck. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh my God, there was one more. There's always an extra one. Okay, we're all right. <laughs> Whew. Okay, we're okay. I'm not hungry. I'm not thirsty. We're all good. You can hold on to all of that for me. I'll bring all of you back home. Uh, do I need one flesh at all? No, we're good. Oh, 2% health on the bike now. Did you get nibbled a little bit or did you cop a stray bullet? I feel like I might have copped a stray bullet. That's probably my fault. Save waypoint. You as my coal mine. Okay, we're heading north. We're heading back. Away we go. She feels sluggish. She feels a little bit out of your gallon. But as long as I can get back home, I'll still love you all the same. I don't want to say it because I'll absolutely jinx it. But somehow, now that the pressure's on, my driving skills are through the roof. Other than the slight little <laughs> the little ding it took fighting the zombie dogs. That's okay. You live with those or going to have to either way. But driving around for the last like week or so, haven't clattered a cobber. I've been absolutely bang on the nipple this whole bleeding time. Like I'm bloody... I don't know, someone who's good at driving. There's plenty of them. Just my mind, my mind's gone blank for them. Like a freaking Max Verstappen all over the bloody shop. You can go into there. You can immediately have all of that. God, I wish. I really bloody wish. Gunpowder, 6,000 of it. It's going to take a day and a half to make. That's a lot. That's quite, that's quite a fucking lot of time to be doing that for me. Um, You're going to need... So much more fuel. Do I even have the fuel to make you? I... I don't think I do. I don't think I have the fuel to cook the gunpowder that I need. That is a problem I wasn't expecting. Well, if I need fuel, then I'm going to have to go plant some trees. Try and be sustainable about it. Where is... Oh, it's hard to see in this kind of sunlight. So where's the dirty marker? I think... I think that's one. I can't tell. So the difference is that like, you plant them on sand, the tree will only grow to about uh, 600 or 900 health, I think it is. But if you plant it on dirt, like pine forest dirt, it'll grow to be... Oh, I can't even bloody see. It'll grow to be like 1,200. So definitely a big difference. That looks like it's right there. Chuck in you. It should all be spaced out. So I'm going to only plant the tree... Yeah, okay, there we go. There we go. It goes what? When it's able to be planted, it's right on the money. Perfect. Much better. It took a good chunk of wood, but I have enough fuel in you now, so you're all good to rock and roll. I'll take that glue and chuck you away. All right. Was there anything pressing I needed to do right now? I didn't get cotton. I didn't get cotton. I was in the fucking pine forest, Josh. It's where the cotton fucking grows, and you didn't get any. Oh, I went all that way. I went all that way. It would have been bountiful harvest of it out there, and I left it all behind. Oh, I hate me. I hate me so much. I hate me so freaking much sometimes. Why do I do this to myself? Just looking at the stuff that I've got to play with. So I've got like 3,200 casings. I've got... I'm a thousand... Ooh, no, I'm not actually a thousand shy. I thought I was, but I'm only like 300 shy on bullet tips, so that's all good. Got a little random 44 ammo and a random stack of 762. Can you go into the appropriate box, please? You've no use to me in there. Chuck you away. So really just like 300 more bullet tips and we're fine and level across the board on that one. So I'm not really wanting for all that much. All I'm missing is the sparky sparky powder, which I'm currently churning out over here, which is just taking for freaking ever. But here's the next question. Am I going to restart, uh, respec back... Oh, that's a real good question. Am I going to respect back into pistols and use the SMG? Or am I going to stay in machine guns and use the tacky boy? I've got a tier 4 tacky boy. I've got a tier, I can make a tier 4 SMG. Which one is going to be better? Because I don't know. What I do know, though, is this is where my bed is going to be when I finally get the cotton to make it. So chuck down my end tables, get my candle, my table candles, and put you like that and you like that. Finally get a little bit of light going on up here. So good. I love that you can do I love that you can hide the candles inside the lampshades. If they ever take that away, I'll be very, very upset. But for now, 
That just looks the bloody tits. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? This is like a game making decision. If I choose wrong, I potentially die. So the stakes are pretty fucking top. I'm really hoping that potentially the points that I get back. Uh, I mean, I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to do it anyway. So you come with me. Don't think Josh, just do chuck it in immediately. Can't go back now. It's well too late. I'm really hoping the points that I get back from all the random and shit, like the lock picking I no longer need. I do need a point in Greece if I can do those vehicle books, but some of those extra points I spent around the place getting them back, I might be able to get further into both trees than I would have otherwise. I need to clap one of them out. One of them needs to be maximized, and I think it's going to be agility. I think knives are just so much better than knuckles, and I would have bought a tier 5 set of steel knucks, but the knives were always better, I think. Plus the SMG is going to be the tits, but then having like the tier 4 tacky boy with some sort of perk to burn through the 762, I think that's probably the way I want to do it. To so the point where 9 mil, I'd love to go high powers or whatever, but I think just regular bullets with all the perks is going to be the way. I'm going to get you cranking. I'm going to also get myself some more duct tapes. Not 40, let's just go like 20 of you, craft up you, make that SMG, because a tier 4 SMG should kick the dick out of almost anything that comes my way, as long as for once in my life I can hit the target. Welcome back gorgeous, it's good to have you, got my, my trusty hunting knife back again, still disappointed that the machete just isn't anywhere near as good as the hunting knife was, I might make a new one at some point, I've got, I've got quite a few machete parts that could be worth a little gander just to see... I mean, a tier 5 Shetty could be worthwhile. I have the steel now to do it, so... Yeah, all right, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if a tier 5 Shetty is anywhere near as good as the tier 5 hunting knife. Uh, oh, I just spent... <laughs> I just spent all the duct tape that I needed. Sure, make a whole bunch of you then. But I needed to make the SMG. So you're going to get cranking. You're going to get cranking. And by the other side of this... I'll have basically everything I need. Hopefully, everything I need to actually survive the horde. But with that, I'm going to have to leave this episode here. I do have a lot of skill points that I need to spend, and I will get right on that shortly, I swear. But tomorrow, it's now day 41. So I've got one more day before the horde gets here, and it's going to be the second last horde of the series. We're only going to day 49 now, seven weeks and seven days. Uh, so 49 is going to be the end stop, or if I die before then. So second last horde, need to run on my electricity again. I need to get my my horde base working for me again, which I think is just going to entail solidifying the stilts. No more like, no, no, no more pillars, no more like that, just a solid block of concrete to hopefully keep me alive. But I'll have to come back and do all my horde base prep and get ready for the horde in the next episode, because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked, make sure you hit the like button down below, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.